Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to highlight the maximum value of a row within a matrix. This video is part of a series where I show you how to build the ultimate matrix. Starting with row conditional formatting, for this you're going to need two measures, and I will include the ones I used in the description below. Alright, so here we have the matrix visual we'll be working with. In this example, I am a used car dealership chain that has locations throughout the U.S. What I want to know is which car make has the highest average selling price for each dealership location. Now here's a sneak peek into the model view where we have our three dimension tables and our fact table. And this is in the layout of a standard star schema. Now going back to our matrix table, we have the dealership state as the rows, the car make as the columns, and the average margin for the values alongside the quantity sold at each location. For the first measure, you want to take the calculation of the value within the table you want to analyze and highlight. So for this, we'll take the average margin and label it margin calc. This measure is what your second measure will be referencing. Now for the second measure, this will be what is deciding which values to highlight, as well as the color that you want them highlighted as. So I'll name this max and row, and we'll start off with a variable statement to define the maximum value within the matrix. You can name the variable anything you want. I'll be naming this max units. To find the max value by a specific row, we can use the max x function. And we want everything to stay within the context of the matrix, so we'll be using all selected. For the first entry, we want to use our most unique value within our table. So I'll be using the car ID column from the dimension table. The second entry will be your matrix column value. So in this example, the car make. Closing the parentheses, here you'll reference the first measure we created, which is margin calc. The return statement will be a conditional statement saying that if your first measure, the margin calculation, is equal to the variable, then highlight in this color. For the true value, I'm putting a hex code in quotation marks. You can choose whatever color you want for this. I chose a light blue for this example. From here, you'll select your visual and open the format pane, go down to cell elements, and turn on the background color for your margin column. Go into the function and make sure your format style is set to field value, then select your final measure. Click OK and you can now double check your values within the matrix table. So here we have Alabama with the $3,965 of average margin for the Acura, and we can see that this is the highest value within the row. So that is how to highlight the maximum value of a row within a matrix. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.